Yeah, 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 yeah. Just in case y'all forgot, this is who I am. This ish right here, this is what I do. This is the Diamond Crew. But I want to give a shout out to my G's and my OG's. But y'all already know what to do. But if you're new to the channel and you like content like this, I need you to do me a favor. I need you to like. I need you to comment. I need you to subscribe. I need you to share this. I need you to hit that notification bell. So you always up to date with the new Eagle Visionary. As I promised, if you looked at the last video, I said Sydney was on the Sydney Brown was on the docket. Here we go. Sydney Brown has been turning heads in practice. With CJ and Marcus gone, he definitely, definitely has a chance to see a starting role at the safety position. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe on special teams, somewhere on the field. He has a chance to play some football. Blankenship and Edmonds have been taking the first team reps, but Sidney Brown is far from being out of the question. Starting safety Terrell Edmonds said, he's a hard worker. He doesn't say much. He's always smiling, but you just know that he wants it. That's what Edmonds said. He just goes out there and gives it 110%. He is willing to learn. He loves football. You can just tell. In my opinion, he still has the opportunity to grab a starting role somewhere on his football field because we can already tell already that Sidney Brown is super athletic, probably the most, most athletic safety coming out of the draft. Brown was a, was a first team all Big Ten pick on the nation's top scoring defense after intercepting six passes in 2002 and 10 in his career, and, and um, he had 59 tackles. Brown can play safety. He can play nickel. He can play inside the box, outside the box. You know, he's just that type of player. Um, even though I do think that inside the box may be some of his weakest um skills that may be his weakest skill set that's just my opinion um but i think and i've said this before sydney brown is a ball hawk sydney brown has a nose for the end zone sydney brown could catch a football and take it to the house he's always a threat i think um that he might want to work on his tackling that may be one of his downfalls as well but i still think that's coachable I think that's something that can be fixed very easy. And we don't even know. We haven't even seen yet. Sidney Brown is a player. They already, you already said, they already said in OTO, OTAs that he's sideline to sideline. He making plays. I know it's not without the pads. Um, it's probably, you know, it, it is what it is. But the guy has skills. So I can't wait to see what Sidney Brown does. Jalen Hurts and A.J. Brown was at the Phillies game. And, you know, in my opinion and a lot of other people's opinion, they may be able to help the Phillies, even though the Phillies, I think, just won four straight. Um, the Phillies have not had the best season so far. Um, Jalen is a lefty at the plate. We definitely seen that. A straight lefty at the plate. And A.J. Brown is a straight slugger. <laughs> Yo, AJ Brown was cracking it, man. Like who wouldn't who would have known that AJ Brown could hit like that? Really good hitter, you know. I'm not saying he, he in the MLB or nothing like that, but for him to be a a football player, you can tell you can definitely tell that he do know how to play baseball. Or at least we know he know how to hit. Um Jalen over there just looking stout as hell. Pause. Like just if you look at this, if you look at his arm, I'm gonna I'm put a picture up here, and you look at this dude's arm. Like 
his arm is huge pause like this dude really been you could tell he's been in the gym you can tell he's been pumping iron we already know that's what he did but he is jacked up to me it seems like Jalen is, is a little bigger pause Jalen doing his thing man the Madden cover has been released and we dodged one and Jalen Hurts is not on the cover um, he will not be affected by the man curse. You can believe it. You can't. You don't have to believe it. Uh, whatever you want to believe, Jalen Hurts will not be on the cover. Josh Allen is on the cover of Madden 2024. And I know a lot of people, they don't like Madden. They said that Madden is not a good game. Madden stinks. But um, I've been playing Madden all my life, you know, so. I'm going to continue to play Madden. So when Madden is good again, in y'all opinion, I'm going to already be good because I've been playing it every year. I like the game. Um, I think it's getting better and we are moving in the right direction. Um, they said they have some different things um, that they upgraded. Um, so we'll definitely love to see what's into that. Um, also, you know, you got NCAA getting ready to drop this year. It's back. I love those two games. Those are my go-to games back in the day. Madden and NCAA. And I still play Madden a lot. And if you want to play me, make sure you drop your gamer tag down in the comments. And if um, you want to know my gamer tag, I'm going to drop it in the description. And you make sure you hit me up man, on PS5. Um, Jalen Hurts star in tiana taylor's commercial video for the release of her jordan ones look man those things is fire those things is different you know jordan ones is is back you know jordan ones always been fire but now they're extremely popular high tops low tops go check out those jordans those things is crazy i don't remember what what date um they dropped but I'll put it on the screen. But those things is fire. And I'm definitely, definitely contemplating on getting me a pair. Chris Sims ranking top 40 quarterbacks. Chris Sims continues to eat crow, but still the disrespect is insurmountable. Let's just keep it a buck. Chris Sims ranking, put him at seven. He put Trevor Lawrence. He put Lamar Jackson, Justin Herbert, Josh Allen, Joe Burrow, Patrick Mahomes. So I think he was like 22nd last year. He moved him up to number seven. Hey, it is what it is. That's the way he feel. But I feel like um, Jalen should be top three top three the you know at the most you're looking at your um mvp runner up from last year and you look at in the odds for him winning mvp this year is good so you may be looking at your mvp and he may be getting ready to move up um into that second or third spot if not the first spot Jalen, look you, we just don't know what Jalen is going to do we just know that he dynamic so i can't wait to see that um, I can't wait till the season start. I'm going to keep having these videos flying off the shelf as much as possible. You know, so make sure y'all tune in. Make sure y'all like. Make sure y'all comment. Make sure y'all subscribe. Make sure y'all hit that notification bell. Make sure y'all share this. Make sure y'all do all of that jazz. You know what I'm saying? So we can keep hot in rotation. But hot out.